WSBT TV is your hometown station. This is WSBT Eyewitness News. And again, good evening. Workers at South Bend Steel Warehouse have had a change of heart about their decision to go on strike this weekend. Mary Simcoe reports they're back on the job tonight after clearing up some questions about their new contract. Union members are back to work as usual, but Saturday night many of these employees did not think they would be returning to the job with their contract about to expire. They had voted to strike, but union leaders say many workers did not fully understand the proposal. Labor and management met late Saturday to go over the contract. Gerald Lerman is with Steel Warehouse. But I believe the real issues had to do with clarification of the actual terms of the settlement agreement rather than uh, any dispute about the terms. What uh, I apparently was needed was a fuller explanation of certain of the terms of the agreement. N.C. Coleman is a spokesman for the IUE union. A lot of people didn't realize that strikes is costly. The company loses and the employees loses. But in this situation, it's going to work out both for everybody for the next three years. Coleman says the agreement includes a 3% wage hike each of the next three years, and the company will continue to pay increases in insurance costs, one of the workers' major concerns. Don Lacefield of North Liberty is a supervisor at Steel Warehouse. He's glad the strike was avoided. They made a right decision. The employees made a right decision. By not going on strike? Right. They can't gain anything by going on strike. Other workers say they are not really happy with the pact, but voted for it anyway. I, don't know, I guess a lot of the guys, you know, they, they got families, you know, and they got bills and stuff like, you know, like a lot of us. But personally, I would have gone out. The agreement affects about 200 employees. In South Bend, Mary Simcoe, WSBT Eyewitness News. An Elkhart man was killed in a two-car crash in Marshall County this evening. Dead is 36-year-old Tillman Miller. Authorities say Miller was northbound on State Road 331 when another vehicle ran a stop sign at Dogwood and broadsided his car. Miller died from head injuries. The driver of the other car and two passengers were taken to local hospitals and treated for unspecified injuries. The accident occurred around 6.30. At least four people are dead following an explosion and fire at a Maryland motel. Firefighters are reportedly still sifting through the rubble of this Super 8 motel in Hagerstown. There's a chance more bodies may be found. Investigators believe a natural gas leak may have touched off the explosion this morning. Well, Japanese business leaders are expressing relief that the Liberal Democratic Party has apparently maintained its majority in the powerful lower house of parliament. It's now Monday in Japan, and the polls have since closed. There had been apprehensions that the opposition parties, including the Socialists and the Communists, might shatter the ruling party's majority. That had held down Tokyo stock prices, drove up interest rates, and kept the yen weak against the U.S. dollar. Well, members of a South Bend church say Black History Month gives children a chance to learn about people who don't always figure prominently in history books. The Grace AME Zion Church held a black history pageant today. Church members gave speeches on black leaders from the days of slavery up through the civil rights movement. Black History Month was also portrayed in music. Pageant organizer Diane Winters Taylor says this supplements what we learned in school about black heritage. In our history books, as we read in our schools, you're not going to find too much on the Afro-American history. And this is just another way to let our youth know that people before them have provided a lot of trailblazing, setting a lot of paths, striving for pride, dignity for the black people of America. Church members today remembered people such as Sojourner Truth, Mahalia Jackson, and Martin Luther King, Jr. Coming up next on Eyewitness News, our Month of the Child report focuses on one woman's fight against teen pregnancy. What could a little more atrazine hurt? Extrazine 2 corn herbicide for a third less atrazine than bicep or lariat. This tax season, we have a special form that can save you a great deal. All you have to do is fill it in. It's the classic form of Cadillac 
Before March 1st, save considerably when you drive away any 1990 model. At your local Cadillac dealer, we'd rather give you a great deal than pay the tax. See the luxury leaders today. Pepperoni Lovers Pizza from Pizza Hut. Now get one medium for $8.99 or two for just $4 more. One in four Americans will suffer from heart disease. But you can help reduce your family's risk with a balanced diet of food lower in fat and cholesterol. Like butternut bread. It's good for your heart. Because it can help your body defend against heart disease. So serve butternut because one in four is too many. Now there's a new bread that's good for your heart and good for your waist. Introducing light breads from Butternut. Just 40 calories a slice. Since 1980, teen pregnancy in St. Joseph County has increased by more than 300% among females age 15 and under. And every day, a teenager in this county has a baby. In fact, teen mothers deliver 500 babies each year in St. Joe County. As we continue our Month of the Child reports, I profile a woman who's been through it all and who's now trying to make sure others don't have to. Okay, the thing we need to tell teenagers more and more <laughs> is that it's just not glamorous to be a teen parent, whether it's a male, whether it's a female. The first thing that I want to say to you is that I was a teen mother. In case you're looking at me saying, well, how do you know so much? I don't want you to read books. I don't want you to know statistics. I want you to hear it from someone who's been there. And I think we learned... Cynthia King Harris is known as the Healthy Babies Lady. She's the outreach coordinator for the Healthy Babies program. Her job, to make teens understand the social, economic, and medical consequences of teen pregnancy. What else might a teenager go through? Um, they probably won't get a good, educa good education. That's a good one. Good education. A lot of times, teenagers have to drop out. A few years ago, the dropout rate was not as high as it is now, but it's been found that teen pregnancy adds pressure to that, not only for the female, but also for the male. These seventh graders at Dickinson Middle School are at an age when pressure to have sex has already begun. We know that they haven't actually dealt with pregnancy. Uh, we know that they haven't dealt uh, in their health classes a lot of times with the issues surrounding teen pregnancy. So we want to catch them kind of before it happens. It's happened twice to 19-year-old Eva Husband. She has a 21-month-old son, Joshua, and a month-old daughter, Darren. Eva had to quit school and lives on child and government support. But she's finishing school through a program at the YWCA, and unlike many unwed teen mothers, she's had a great deal of support from her family. Still, it's been a struggle. Everybody thinks that it's easy, you know, oh, baby, it wouldn't, you know, it's no big deal. Somebody's going to help me, you know, somebody's always going to be there. It's not always like that. So being your age and, and, and raising a couple of kids is, is not as a romantic a notion as some people might think it is. Oh, no, it's a, if you ask me, I, <laughs> I think it's, it's more of a turnoff. <laughs> it, 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 it definitely turns you off. One big turnoff for teens is cost. That's why King Harris always makes sure that the students add up the first year costs of having a baby. Do you know how much a crib costs? About $400. About between two and $400, but guess what? That's without the mattress. <laughs> when it's all tallied, the point is much better taken. What'd you get? Um, <laughs> 313. 13. He got 13,750. For those of you who feel like sex is the answer, whether you're male or female, the next time he or she whispers in your ear, ooh, baby, baby, let's do it, you look good, let's do it, do it, do it, you hold up this paper and say, can we afford it? And see what the answer will be. King Harris says if the unfortunate does happen, she teaches teens not to go it alone. That's important for you and the baby to seek the proper help. She adds parents need to be more involved in educating teens about sex. 
Well, two Michiana residents are among those honored by the Indiana JCs. Joan Swanson of WSBT 960 Radio was among seven people given outstanding Young Hoosier Awards at ceremonies last night in Marion. Also honored from this area, Misty McIntyre of the Mug and Muffin Restaurant in South Bend. Both Swanson and McIntyre were cited for outstanding service to the community. Well, great weather to start your week. Rhonda Brown has details next. I'm Bob Basney, and if you want to buy the best at tax sale prices and feel just right, then hurry to Basney Imports on US 33 North. You'll buy BMW, the world's best, with up to $5,000 cash back. Mazda, always among the world's top 10, with $1,000 cash back. And German-engineered Volkswagen, with huge tax sale discounts. Remember, buy the best at Basney Imports, US 33 North, and you'll just feel right. When you've got a great deal on a great meal, you want people to know about it. Which is why Dairy Queen isn't the least bit shy about the $1.99 full meal deal. Because for just $1.99, you get a juicy DQ homestyle burger, crisp delicious fries, a soft drink, and your favorite sundae. A deal that good deserves some fanfare. But for a meal this good, we simply rely on word of mouth. Hmm. We treat you right. So? Well, on my birthday, you give me birthday presents. Yeah. And on Valentine's Day, you give me Valentine. Yeah, yeah, so? So, on President's Day, you give me presents. The green one? No. Of course. That way I'd really save it Hudson's President's Day sale. I'll take your Lincoln, Washington, Jackson. The President's Day sale, this Sunday and Monday at Hudson's. Oh, is that a Franklin I see there? Yeah, Franklin may have invented lightning, but he wasn't a president. Only one American car line can be ranked highest for initial product quality, and that one is Buick. Buick was rated the most trouble-free American car line, and you can only get quality like this at your better Buick dealer. See Boost Petro, Gurley Leaf, Don Lytow, Darl Knievel, Rafferty, Schroeder, Showalter, Kelly, Rudd Hutchison, Village, Springsteen & Sons, Jim Moore, Lauterbach, or Lock Monday Buick. Well, it won't feel like we're living near the equator, but it's going to be fairly nice, right? Not going to be bad. Good way to start the week, Terry. Today was a gorgeous day. Yesterday was nice. Next couple of days, we're also going to be seeing some sun, uh, but then the change. As far as temperatures today, well, it was very pleasant. Again, our official high temperature, 40 degrees, 5 above the normal. We reached our high at 3.30 this afternoon. The record, 63, was set back in 1961. As far as the coolest overnight low, above normal by 4 degrees, the record 5 below set in 1978. Outside right now, our current temperature 31 under clear skies, and with winds out of the southwest at 8 miles per hour, it feels like it's 21 degrees. The relative humidity is at 88 percent, barometric pressure 30.13 and rising, dew point is at 28, and we haven't had any measurable amount of precipitation or snowfall during the past 24 hours. Across the region at this hour, lots of clear skies. Lafayette, 34 degrees, Indy, 35, Fort Wayne also reporting in at 34, Chicago at this hour under clear skies, 33 degrees. Lots of clear skies across the state as well as to the west of us. We've been under the influence of high pressure today. Now, a cold front is moving across the state. Not much associated with it. A few clouds have rolled into some sections, but the, these are mostly high clouds and not much to worry about. Behind it, as you can see, lots of clear skies for us. Out west, snow continues. Winter storm warnings, watches, and advisories have been issued for portions of Southern uh, California. The mountains, obviously, there. Nevada, Colorado, Utah, and Arizona, and New Mexico tonight through tomorrow. Already, Utah has had a couple of feet of snor snow. More of that is on the way. And down in the southeast again, more rain for that section of the country. As far as temperatures, Tampa set a new record high again. 84 Bartow and Fort Myers, however, reported in with the hottest temperature, 87. Messina, New York, 19 below. This is the way it's looking for tomorrow. High pressure rolling in, and we're going to be seeing lots of clear skies heading our direction. When it comes to temperatures, overnight lows tonight are going to be in the 20s across the northern section of the state, warming up into the 30s, possibly topping out at 40 tomorrow. And I'll be back with those details right after this. Lincoln Mercury Dealers is celebrating Motor Trend's 1990 Car of the Year Award with some award-winning values of their own. 
You'll save with $1,000 customer cash on Mercury Cougar direct from Lincoln Mercury. $750 customer cash on Mercury Sable and Topaz. And $750 customer cash on the full-size Mercury Grand Marquis. Or ask your dealer about low financing on select models. It's all going on right now. See your nearby Lincoln Mercury dealer today. It's the carpet buying opportunity of the year. Now through Monday, Carpetland USA is making news by marking every carpet 50% off. Padding is 50% off. Even remnants are 50% off. That's right, now you can carpet a room, carpet a house, and get it all. Carpet, padding, even remnants, all 50% off. You can even defer your first payment for six months. Reporting the best carpet buying deal of the year, the 50-50-50 sale. Now through Monday only at Carpetland USA. Hurry! Hey, Georgie, baby, congrats! Highland's going all out to celebrate your birthday. Well, it's only for a few days. Georgie, 5 to 40% off everything at every Highland store. That's a great gig, sweetheart. Now through Monday, save on an RCA VHS video recorder with programmable timer. Just 212 during George Washington's birthday sale. Hope to see you there, Ben. After all, a penny saved is a penny earned. Uh, and he who hesitates is lost. And a stitch in time saves nine. Uh, and never eat spinach with a stranger. It's the Michiana Pontiac Dealer's $6 million February Inventory Countdown. We're reducing inventory with exciting Pontiac values, exciting cars, Grand Am, Sunbird, Bonneville. Exciting values up to $1,000 factory cashback or low 6.9 APR GMAC financing. Buy during the Michiana February Inventory Countdown or count yourself out of exciting values. See your Michiana Pontiac Dealer. Well, for tonight, we're looking for clear skies to continue. Our overnight lows tonight are going to be about 25 degrees. And then tomorrow, sunshine in the forecast again. Highs 35 to 40. Tomorrow night, clear and cold with lows much colder than tonight, 15 to 20. And then on Tuesday, it's going to be sunny with highs at 35 to 40. Our extended outlook Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday calling for temperatures to be above normal all three days. Increasing cloudiness on Wednesday with rain likely Thursday and Friday. Maybe some snow, Terry, late Friday night as temperatures drop to an overnight low of 30. But for the next few days, it's going to be sunny and nice and warm. and well, Enjoy it for the next couple of days. Huh? Right. Okay, Rhonda, thanks a lot. Well, coming up next, Lance has a busy Sunday in college basketball's top 25. The following is a WSBT TV editorial. Speaking for WSBT is News Director Bill Crafton. One of the battles in the current session of the state legislature has been over the excise tax charged when Hoosier motorists purchase license plates. That tax causes many Hoosiers to cheat the state out of lots of money as they jump across state lines to get plates to try to avoid the sometimes huge tax bill. This year, the Republicans in the legislature came up with a plan to use some of the lottery money to lower those excise taxes. First, Governor Bai didn't like that idea, then he reversed himself and came up with a plan of his own to also lower the bill. Bai's bill never got out of committee and died. The other bill is now bottled up in committee as our esteemed elected members of the legislature play politics. While they battle over who has the most power, the losers, as usual, are you, the taxpayers. We urge you to get with your legislators now while there are still a few days left and tell them to quit posturing amongst themselves and do what you elected them to do and tell them you want the relief from the excise tax. If they can't or won't do it, remember that in the coming elections and vote in somebody who will. This has been a WSBT TV editorial. Honey, it's President's Day. So? Well, on my birthday, you give me birthday presents. Yeah. And on Valentine's Day, you give me Valentine. Yeah, yeah, so? So, on President's Day, you give me presents. The green one? No. Of course. That way I'd really save it Hudson's President's Day sale. I take your Lincoln, Washington, Jackson. The President's Day sale, this Sunday and Monday at Hudson's. Oh, is that a Franklin I see there? Yeah, Franklin may have invented lightning, but he wasn't a president. The excise tax is a serious expense to automobile dealers. A car can cost us up to $600 in, in taxes. Because of lagging sales the last two months, our inventories have skyrocketed to over $3 million of new and used cars. So it's, it's to our advantage to move these cars out now, especially when I have more than I wanted. <laughs> we need to pass those savings on before March 1st to you. After March 1st, we have to pay the tax. 
Well, the defending national champs have a little trouble still. Huh? A bit of trouble, and the Boilers love the Buckeyes tonight. Helped them out with a game this afternoon. Top 25 was busy on this Sunday with 10 of its teams in action. Number 5, Michigan, was in Columbus, worried not so much about its place in the polls as its place in the Big Ten. Wolverines needed a win over the Buckeyes to stay a game back of front-running Purdue. Let's check it out. Randy Ayers club hung tough early. 15 lead changes. Then late, Jimmy Jackson follows the miss by Jim Gent. Buckeyes on top, 56-55, three minutes to go. Then it's Jamal Brown who will beat the 45-second clock, sink the three-pointer from the corner. Ohio State's lead was 5, 114 to go. But Michigan gets three from Ramil Robinson. Then the pretty dump off to Loy Vaught, gets the bucket, got fouled, missed the free throw, tied at 61 with time running out. Michigan would foul Mark Baker. He went to the line and made the first one. Will miss the second, but watch the tip by Jackson. The one hand put back. He had 16. Two big ones there. 64-61. Eight seconds to go. Michigan with a chance to tie. Ramil, who had 26, misses. Loy Bott then misses. 21 turnovers and 41% shooting. Spell a Michigan loss this afternoon. 64 61. To Missouri we go. Billy Tubbs and the Oklahoma Sooners tangling with the Tigers. Watch freshman Travis Ford hit the three-pointer for Missouri. 89-87 Missouri with 143 to go. But then it's Jackie Jones who pulls the trigger and pulls the Sooners ahead by one with 120 remaining. And Billy like that. Now 40 seconds to go. Watch the Sooners snooze on the inbounds. The bucket and the foul for Doug West. 92-90 Missouri, the house was rocking. Oklahoma running down the clock, looking for a chance to tie. Check this out. The miss, no. The tip, no. The follow, still can't get it to go. Time runs out. Missouri makes it 30 straight at home. 92-90 over Oklahoma on the board. Tigers will move to number one tomorrow night when the polls come out. Wolverines have a four-game win streak snapped. Duke make it, makes it 13 straight over Wake Forest. Chris Jackson, 46 in the LSU win. LaSalle wins big. Oregon State does so as well. And UCLA stunned by Stanford 70 to 69. Closer to home, IUSB a winner over St. Francis. Well, the pro scene had its fair share of Sunday action as well, including the Bulls at the Mecca to square off with the Milwaukee Bucks. Let's check this one out. Michael up to his old tricks early. The pick, the drive, and the solo one hand jam. He had 15 in the first half. But the Bulls fell behind by 13. Watch Jack Sigma to Cadillac Anderson baseline reverse jam here. We move to the third. Watch Horace Grant get rid of Anderson and go in for the easy two. The Bulls lead was seven in the fourth when they go on an 18 to nothing run. Michael to the glass had 39 points. Bulls win with ease this afternoon. Final at the Mecca, 111 to 88. Meanwhile, if it's Jack Nicholson, it must be the Lakers. Lakers at the forum this afternoon taking on the Celtics. Watch Larry Bird back worthy in. And the left-handed hook, he's right-handed, but he gets it to go. Larry had 22. Celtics had the lead after three, but Magic took over 29 points. Be careful reading the lips of Reggie Lewis here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Lakers rally late. Fourth quarter, they take it to the Celtics, get the break going. Byron Scott, the bucket, and the foul. Lakers win at the forum, 116 to 110. On the board, Bulls win by 23. Celtics have dropped seven straight at the forum. Pacers brawled with the bullets under the stands after their loss, while Charlotte manages just 70 points in their loss. Tom Chambers, 46 in the first half. 56 for the game. Golden State falls big time to Phoenix. Minnesota over Atlanta by 10. And one more score for you. Philadelphia over Portland, 110 to 109. Well, our next stop, high school basketball. The pairings are after the sectionals. I'll show you those, plus a look at the Daytona 500. four different campuses and hundreds of different departments. So GTE recommended their Centronet system, which not only gave the university greater capabilities, but allowed 75,000 people to communicate a lot better. You see, at GTE, it's not just communications we offer, it's solutions. Call us and everything will fall into place. I'm shocked. 
I made a challenge to any celebrity who's ever done a Diet Coke commercial to come on TV with me and take a taste test against new Diet Pepsi. But no one showed up, and I'm sitting here with an empty chair. Now, maybe somebody's stuck in traffic or their limo broke down, but maybe they already know that the taste of new Diet Pepsi beats Diet Coke. Now, come on, all you Diet Coke celebrities. You're not afraid of a little Diet Pepsi, are you? Or are you? New Diet Pepsi with 100% NutraSweet. A student in accounting, Lasagna Kelly. Education has always been important to me, but I wanted to get into my professional classes quickly. Ivy Tech gave me academic challenges and a friendly, family-like atmosphere. I've put my studies to work already, and I plan to continue my education at Ivy Tech. I know it's the right choice for me. The right choice is Indiana's Technical College, Ivy Tech. Well, in high school hoops, the pairings are set for boys' sectional play. 386 teams will begin play at 64 sectional sites one week from this Tuesday. Here's the setup in town on Tuesday night at the Joyce ACC. The games can be heard on radio, AM 960, with Rick and I, 7 o'clock, Washington against Marion, and LaSalle and Adams in the nightcap. Wednesday, Mishawaka takes on Clay early, St. Joe against Riley at 8.30. Elkhart sectional on Tuesday, Memorial takes on Penn at 6.30. Concord, number one in the state against Goshen at 8. Then on Wednesday night, Northwood against Elkhart Central. Northridge takes on Jimtown and at Plymouth. On Wednesday, Bremen and Glenn hook up again early. Plymouth and LaVille at 8. And then on Friday night, Argos against Culver Military early. The Wednesday winners come back at 8 on Friday night. Well, in girls basketball, LaSalle's dream of a trip to the Final Four ended in Fort Wayne last night. Defending state champion Huntington North did the damage 59-43. Charlie Adams and photographer Judy Peters were at the semi-state and filed this report. LaSalle spent much of their game with Huntington North looking up, and that proved to be their downfall. They, they pounded it inside, you know. They just had a lot of height, and we really didn't have one tall person. Our tallest person was 5'10". They were just simply lobbing the ball over our head. We just didn't have the legs to jump. Our jumping, that's the one thing I noticed. We just couldn't jump and stop their easy bucket. LaSalle's Tawana Jackson trying to keep pace with the Viking Giants. The All-American dazzled the crowd in the third quarter, scoring from all over the court. But when she cooled off, Huntington North pulled away. She took some outside shots, but sometimes she makes those shots. But my game plan basically was to go inside. We got away from that a little bit and we got out of our rhythm and we should have been into our rhythm and we really wasn't in our rhythm that's not to say and take it away from north but we were just not in our rhythm LaSalle's dream of reaching the final four did not come true it hurt that they had come so close only to come up short but none of the girls were hanging their head at the very end I think that we had a great season and we have nothing to be ashamed of walking off this court tonight. We feel proud to make it this far and to be the first girls, LaSalle girls team to make it this far. In Fort Wayne, Charlie Adams, Eyewitness Sports. To Daytona now, the Daytona 500. What a story this afternoon. Dale Earnhardt led most of the way, lost a tire on the last lap, opened the door for Derek Cope. The 31-year-old picks up a dramatic win this afternoon. Terry Labonte second, Bill Elliott finished third. And one more note in boxing, Buster Douglas says he's going to make his first title defense against Evander Holyfield in September. Says Mike Tyson's going to wait a year. So didn't like how Mike and Don King treated him. So I'm not surprised. And thank you, Professor. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Like those glasses. <laughs> and that will do it for the weekend edition of Eyewitness News. Have a great week. The professor and Ron and I will be back next weekend. <laughs>